Hi, I'm Janine and this is Janine Sews. On my channel, I talk about sewing a wardrobe for a woman over 50. Today, I'm going to tell you about this shirt. I have not recorded a video in quite a while, but I guess I'm back. Uh, I'm going to talk about this shirt first, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little life and sewing update. This shirt is the Cashmere at Harrison shirt. This pattern is a double princess seamed button down shirt for wovens or stretch wovens. And can you see that? Let's see here. I'm trying to make sure you can see that. So it has double princess seams in the front, and then it's got three pieces in the back. Sleeves, sleeve pa plackets, cuffs, two-piece collar, button man. Why did I pick this shirt? Well, it's a cashmere wrap pattern. So it's designed for people with curves. And I always have to do an FBA. You don't have to do an FBA with cashmere wrap patterns, or I don't have to do an FBA with cashmere wrap patterns. This particular shirt is sized for sizes 12 through 28 and uh, cup sizes C through H, and their pattern sizing is much closer to ready-to-wear sizing. So I sewed a size 16, grading out to an 18 at my stomach and my hips. And I used a cup size GH. Cashmere Ant on their website has a size calculator, so you can punch in your measurements and it will give you a suggestion. When I punched in my measurements, they suggested a size 14 um, for my bust and then grading out for the waist and the hips. Um, but they also suggested a two inch FBA and frankly, I did not want to do an FBA. So I made a toil of this um, and I did an actual toile. I bought muslin, I marked the lines on it and everything, the center front and the horizontal lines and everything. And I cut a 16 on that Actually, no, I cut an 18. And um, turned out that a 16 GH was right without doing an FBA. So that's what I cut. The fabric that I've used for this shirt is cotton viscose from Joanne. 60% cotton, 40% viscose. It's a very soft fabric. It feels, it's a little bit brushed. Uh, just, it um, really got the rayon feel. It's got a tiny bit of stretch to it. Um, on the cross grain, but it's very soft, really comfortable, nice for kind of in-between season weather, like right now where it's going to be, I think, 60 degrees today. This is nice weight for that. Certainly too warm for the height of summer, at least for me. So why did I make this shirt? Well, I picked up the pattern in February because I wanted to make a button down shirt. I like them. I used to always wear them back in the old days when they used to fit off the rack, but I like button down shirts and I thought, I'll give the cashmere at Harrison a try. So I picked up the pattern and this was about the same time that the pattern review sewing bee was going on and I entered it again this year. And um, I made it to round three, which was my goal. And for round three, the challenge was to make something where you match the fabric print across multiple seams. And I thought, well, what the heck? I'll really challenge myself and I'll make this pattern with all of the seams and try to match it. So I got this plaid and the plaid is balanced. So that made it much easier to match. So after I had completed the toile, picked my size, had my fabric, I went about cutting it and I aligned the print along a horizontal line, which is often the easiest thing to do, or at least as far as I know, that's the easiest way to start with prints like this. Um, of course, you would never have a perfect match on a princess seamed shirt because princess seams are curved and this is a straight pattern. So I just focused on matching here, knowing that places like this, it wasn't gonna match. Cut out all the pieces on my pattern pieces to help with the matching. I used a Frixion pen to mark where the print should have been. 
Counting took almost two days, not two full days, but over, I think I spent several hours cutting on Sunday and then about two more hours on Monday. Uh, and then I set about sewing. And it's actually not a difficult pattern at all. Yeah, there's a lot of seams. I think there are 15 pieces. But the pattern is so well drafted and the instructions are so good that I think anybody could sew this. If you haven't sewn princess seams or curves before, just use a lot of pins. Take your time. Don't rush. Um, I did not baste the seams together because this fabric frays a little bit and I was afraid of it um, fraying a little too much or pulling. Um, but yeah, this is not a really difficult pattern. There are just a lot of pieces. There was only one place where I actually did have difficulty and that was the sleeve plackets because the instructions were just a little confusing to me. And I, I went online to see if anybody else had any ideas and other people said the same thing. So maybe one day someone will record a tutorial on the plackets for this because I could certainly use the help. Um, the sizing is really great. Of course, it's designed for people who have curves. So it fits over your bust. I did not need to do a short waist adjustment, nor did I need to do a high round back adjustment. I normally do a half inch high round back adjustment. I didn't have to do anything on this. And this shirt fits like this all the time. I don't have to pull it. You know, other shirts, I'm always pulling them down. I don't have to do that on this. This feels great. Uh, super comfortable shirt. I feel confident wearing it. It just feels like it fits. Um, I'll give a little walk and show you the whole side. Oh, one thing um, I forgot to mention. The sizing is great everywhere except, I think the lower sleeves are a little bit tight on me. Most of the time when I sew shirts, the sleeves are way too big and it's like a huge giveaway that you've sewn your own shirt because the sleeves are gonna be, you know, voluminous and the cuffs don't fit. This fits really nicely like a ready to wear shirt. However, I think they're a little tight and my arms are not exactly muscular. So if you make this shirt, I would say definitely check the measurement for the lower arm because it's fine when you're standing. They look great, they look very ready to wear. But if you're wearing this sitting at a desk, you see it, it like it pulls some. Um, so next time I make this, I'm gonna add like half an inch or something here. So this is the Cashmere at Harrison shirt. Uh, I recommend this pattern. If you're somebody who has curves and you want to make yourself a nice button down shirt, and I am gonna make it again. I think I have, I, I've got two pieces of Liberty Tana uh, cotton lawn that have been sitting in my stash for quite a while. And I think, I think I'm gonna use one of them for this because I'm happy enough with this, uh, with the fit and everything that I'm going to use my very precious Liberty Cotton. It's gonna be a long time probably before we can get back to London to buy more. So I like it enough that I'm willing to use precious fabric for it. So this is the Cashmere at Harrison shirt and um, I did not make it to round four of the sewing bee but I have a shirt that I really like and that was that was ultimately what I was doing this year with the sewing bee was sewing things that I like and I wear. Sewing and life update. I have been sewing. I just have not been recording videos. And there are a couple of reasons for that. It was dark. It was hard to find light at a time when I could record, even though I have big lights and everything. Um, but I'm also busy at work, spending a lot of time on camera at work, because I'm still working full time in Atlanta. Um, spend a lot of time on camera at work. And then I'm doing some things at work that are really challenging my brain, which is great. And I just find at the end of the day, I don't have the creativity or the drive to create a video, um, to even talk sensibly. So the sewing part has become my refuge for the last many months. I love sewing because it forces it. Well, it doesn't force me. It's something 
that I'm able to get into the flow of. I focus just on the sewing. I don't think about anything else. So anything that's making me anxious, uncomfortable, sad, scared, I don't think about those things when I sew. I just guide the fabric through the machine, and watch the needle go up and down. It's kind of mesmerizing. So sewing is my refuge, and sometimes it's been difficult to turn on the camera and record videos. So what have I been sewing? Well, made a few tops. Um, I've blogged several of my makes. I've, I've written several blog posts, which I haven't done in a long time, and I'm gonna put a link to my blog in the description. Um, I made a bunch of little things for Christmas, little gifty things for Christmas, made window treatments. Um, I'm blogging for Fabric Mart this year. So I have one blog post on Fabric Mart that is up. It's cross post on my blog. I've got another one coming out next week that I am going to record a video on because I made golf clothes. We have been golfing. It's one of the things that we can do social distancing safe and get outside because I'm totally loving being somewhere where it's cooler. It's still cooler. It's not 90 degrees yet. So I'm going to post that next week. Uh, for the sewing bee, I made pajamas for my husband for the first round and he wears them all the time. I'm going to be making pajamas for him all the time because that's like the most rewarding thing I've ever made. And then I made a jacket out of recycled denim which turned out so well, and I am gonna show that to you. I wear it all the time. I never ever thought that I could make something that looked that good on the inside. <laughs> so I will show that to you. Bought some fabric, bought a bunch of patterns last week. Um, golf clothes, <laughs> more golf clothes. Uh, clearly, I am well in, still in the pandemic leisure wear because everything is leisure wear. Um, so I bought a bunch of patterns and I did get some fabric from Fabric Mart this week from the May Julie's picks. And I've got a piece of fabric there on the dress form, just a nice knit to make t-shirts with. Uh, and the next thing I have to do is make window panels, which I'm gonna do this weekend. But everything in my life is good. Everybody has challenges right now. I feel that my challenges are infinitesimal compared to what a lot of people are going through. So I'm not gonna complain. Keep on keeping on, keep calm and carry on. Um, I wish I could get home to see my family. I, it's just, it's such a challenge to get into Canada. Um, but everything is good. I appreciate those of you who reached out to see if I'm okay, and I am okay. And I hope all of you are too. So I'll see you next week with some more sewing. And uh, now that the sun is coming out, it's gonna be way easier to record videos. So I look forward to seeing you more soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to those of you who subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.